but it, you know, it's, it's a made up word that everybody understands. You know, you repent, but you, we are repentless. We, meaning that, that we don't repent. Uh, it came from the title of an album, of the song. Uh, usually we will we'll find something somewhere in the lyrics or a song title that, that we feel best describes the album. But a lot of times it also best describes what's going on. And Repentless is very descriptive of what the band is about and how we are as a band. Uh, so I, I, you know, when we, just, when we talked about it, I, I felt that that was a very fitting title. Uh, 34 years, that best describes the band. It doesn't exist in the English language. But if you put less behind it, it, it gives it more meaning. <laughs> Those are usually moments when I don't want to be out here in the road and I want to be home. <laughs> uh, no, you know, I think the worst thing we could have done is, is to not have done anything and stopped. Uh, we, started, we started the whole process of writing an album and we had to decide whether we wanted to continue and, and do the album and finish it. So me and Carrie, we had opportunities to, to talk because we, we were working on the ideas of the songs and then uh, we, did, we toured uh, and then we had to, to, to have a conversation just and figure out whether we wanted to continue or not and, and whether we wanted to finish this, the album that we started. So I told Michael, well, let's do that. Let's, let's finish this uh, and see where we go from here. So we finished it and now we're going to tour. We tour at the end of this month, at the end of this year, and then we tour again. Probably the next two years, we'll probably be touring, uh, and we'll see where that takes us. But we figured we 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 owe that much because everybody is expecting a record. You know, I mean, they knew that several years ago that we were going to start working on a record, and then you know to kind of just stop and, and drop the ball. I think a lot of people would have been like, oh. But you know, the social media being the way it is, a lot of people. We're telling us that we should hang it up anyways. <laughs> it amazes me how so-called Slayer fans are pretty fucking brutal. Uh, it did, to some extent. Uh, uh, Paul was a new breath of life to the band because, uh, but I mean, he was in the band once before. And he's a fan, like like me and Carrie are fans of the band. So we have an idea of what we as fans want to hear, which is I think it's, it's, it's an asset because we because we can sit there and go like, yeah, this is cool, you know, or go like, oh, this sucks. We need it. No, no, we know, you know. So, but Paul being in the band once before, then coming back was really good. Uh, so he knew what he wanted to do. He knew that he needed to prove himself too. Not only to us, but to everybody else out there that said he sucked. <laughs> so, you know, but, you know, he proved them all wrong. Yes. This, this record is amazing. Gary coming in, um, you know, the, the idea behind uh, the, the Slayer uh, was a two guitar attack. You know, kind of like the Judas Priest, two guitar attack. Uh, and you can't really have that when one guy's doing everything, mm. as far as guitars goes. So he, you know, he, he purposely wanted Gary, uh, Gary to come in and do what well, would represent uh, Jeff solos, you know, what I mean, or the other guitarist solos. And uh, so that's that's how that came about. And so he had stuff that he did, and then Gary came in, listened to the songs, and then you know, did whatever came naturally as his reply to one guitar player to another. You know what I mean? And so that was kind of cool. Uh, Gary, Gary came in and did it in the day. He came in uh, uh, about noon, stayed there till like eight, it's like nine, ten o'clock. Was done. Flew back home the same night. I mean, and he said that, that his wrist the next day, his wrists were like swollen and sore. And I'm like, because he was just like, Whoa. 
I mean, just going to town. So, so but it, and that's 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 the extent of, uh, of uh, Gary's contribution was the guitar solo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He came up to. Uh, he he asked us if uh, there were some songs. He he wanted to use certain some songs for his show, and and uh, and then you know at the time it was Stu that was working at the office. He was my liaison to the office. He was telling me he goes he goes this guy this guy's really cool. You know he's based a lot of his a lot of his uh, titles to his episodes on Slayer's song titles. And, was, and they want to use you know this and they want to use that and. And we're like, we're, we're cool with it. So I think that's kind of neat. Yeah. But I've never met the guy. But I just do, I know that a lot of it is based on Slayer titles, which is kind of really cool. We're killing ourselves a little more every day! Live fast! On high! Uh, they, like, they like Slayer. They have favorite songs. Cool. But they like Slayer. Cool. Yeah. They, my son plays guitar now. He was playing bass, but now he plays guitar. My daughter plays bass. So they, they kind of taught themselves because dad doesn't know anything. So they taught themselves how to play. Uh, but uh, yeah, they like Slayer. You know, and my daughter's my daughter and, uh, listens to a lot of Slayer. Recently has been listening to a lot of Slayer. And I think it's helped her through some personal issues, cool. which I find interesting. Cool. Because uh, I, you hear stories about how Slayer has helped people and how they always tell us, oh man, you know, you don't understand. You, you helped me through some really, really down, you know, some moments in my life that really, so it's interesting. And then for my, my daughter to be listening to it, I think it looks really cool. You never know. You never know. Um, I'm not much of a music writer. But I, I do contribute to lyrics, and like I said, I, I try to make things lyrically better. <laughs> so you never know. Uh, I have a, I have things that I've thought about, but I don't, I don't know. It, it wouldn't be what people would expect. You know what I mean? Uh, they, they know me and, uh, as Slayer. So if I were to do a solo album, uh, I would like to think that they would be open-minded and not expect something that they think it should be. When a solo album is exactly that. Something that's solo, you can't hear it. <laughs> My wife keeps telling me, you should do something. They're all asking if you're gonna do a solo album. Well, you should do a solo album. You got some great stuff. I got great lyrics. I got ideas for lyrics. Whether they're great or not, I don't know, but I have ideas, all kinds of ideas for lyrics. So. You should listen to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see that? I should yeah. listen to you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. We're gonna do an album anyways, fuck you. <laughs>